Welcome to Far Reach Voyages, where we share our lifelong love of sailing and adventure travel. In this first episode, we began our inaugural voyage from North Carolina to the British Virgin Islands in December 2015. I spent the previous six years rebuilding the Far Reach, a Carl Alberg designed 1982 Cape Dory 36 from a gutted bare hull and deck. My vision was a strong, capable, sailing centric voyaging machine with minimal systems but an elegant interior. I wanted her to be tough enough that I could sail her wherever I wanted without worrying about her not being up to the task, even if I was not. I wanted adventure, not convenience. I made major modifications to the boat. I filled and patched hundreds of holes. I designed and built a comfortable, seagoing interior with simple systems and lots of storage. To make the boat watertight, I removed the tow rail and glassed over the hull deck joint and installed raised bulwarks, which enhance safety offshore and allow water to immediately drain off the deck. I converted her from wheel to tiller steering because it eliminates complexity and works better with a self-steering wind vane. We built a new, taller, lighter rig and a longer bowsprit to give her a balanced helm and increase her sail area for more power under sail and light winds. I also hand spliced the standing rigging because it lasts longer, it's easier to maintain and I can make my own repairs. I also removed the engine and filled in the aperture to further simplify her and improve her maneuverability and light air performance. She emerged from our shed in March 2015 a far stronger, simpler, and more capable boat than she had ever been in her stock configuration. For this first offshore 1,640 nautical mile voyage, I was joined by my sister Tricia. Tricia and I have sailed together since we were children, so our approach to sailing and ease of communications was seamless. Tricia is also a retired San Diego fire captain, so she is confident, calm under pressure, and fearless. I could not have had a better shipmate for such a challenging sea trial for the far reach. Our sailing plan was to get across the powerful Gulf Stream, which runs northeast along the coast of the U.S., and make as much easting as possible out to about 63 degrees west longitude before we picked up the expected reinforced easterly trade winds around 26 degrees north latitude. The trade winds would then carry us the final 420 miles south to the British Virgin Islands. And while that was our sailing plan, Mother Nature had a different plan. We experienced a series of extended calms, a bit unusual for a December passage. We also found ourselves facing more contrary headwinds than we anticipated, which at times prevented us from sailing the more direct route we expected. So our actual route sailed looked more like this. But it all worked out in the end. In this voyage, we experienced a bit of everything, from ideal sailing to flat calms that enticed us into an unforgettable mid-ocean swim in 17,000 feet of water. Eventually, we found the trades, which tested the crew and the far reach. So join us for an epic double-handed adventure from North Carolina to the incredible West Indies paradise of the Virgin Islands.
the morning of December 11th, Friday, 6.52 a.m. We've had a, a rough couple of days trying to regain our footing on the boat. We're wallowing quite a bit, but making decent speed. Looks like we have a squall line of some sort ahead of us. And just about ready to turn on Chris Parker to listen to our radio. Touching the newly tied line onto the head of the seal, and we're going to reset. Day five, somewhere northwest of Saint somewhere. Light breezes, expected to die out completely for the next 24 hours. The crew is feeling a little better today. Sails are just now starting to slap in the dying wind. Trisha's cooking us some rice and eggs. About 250 miles west southwest of Bermuda in the Atlantic. Eight to ten knots of breeze, more like six to eight now. Far reach making about three and a half to four knots occasionally. We've named day five a day of recovery. Everybody feels better. We've been eating, showering, doing laundry. Cape Horn wind vane is steering terrifically. Beautiful day. Dropping the mainsail. John's going to check the halyard. Let's drop the drifter up. flat as a lake, minimal swells, gorgeous sky. Sunset, Saturday, December 12th. How many people have their lives with the blue red? If you enjoyed this episode of Far Reach Voyages, let us know in the comments. Also, consider liking and subscribing, as it tells us you would like to see more videos, and it helps the channel grow. See you next episode.